What's good, y'all South Africans? Ew. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I nervous? Yeah, I am. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome to, I guess, Au Pair in America's YouTube channel. My name is Libone and I am 19 years old and I'm an au pair here in America and I'm from South Africa. Yes, I'm an au pair. I've mentioned that. And today what I'm going to talk about is the beginning steps, the basic steps, what you need to do in order to become an au pair and hop on into this possibly amazing adventure. I'm gonna explain it. So these companies come to your high school, you know, you're still trying to figure out what you wanna do in life and all of that. And I didn't know, and I was like, you know what? This old pair thing might be for me. And then like, yes, au pair in America, travel, work, study. And I was like, what? What y'all say? A different company came to my school. I don't remember which company. This was in grade 10. And then they were too slow for me. They were like, no, please come back in grade 12 when you're 18. And I was like, no. You guys are gonna waste my time. I ain't got time for that, okay? I'm a person that likes to plan ahead. So I was like, okay, peace y'all, bye. And I went to the next agency. I actually got a referral from a friend and she was like, this company is great, au pair in America. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try them out. But if they waste my time, tell me, call back when you're in grade 12, then on to the next. Thank you, next. So I called the company and the lady was so nice. It's the African ambassadors in uh, South Africa. And she was so nice. Her name's Keegan. I love you, Keegan. <laughs> Woo! Yay. <laughs> she helped me. She, I called her and she's like, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to have in the beginning of grade 12 so that your profile, you know, can go through. Uh, it cannot go through earlier because obviously I'm only 16 years old by that time. And I was like, okay and I started working towards my profile. And I just started my process in grade 10. And I loved the fact that I started ahead of time because your license is going to take a while. Your police clearance is going to take a while. If you don't have a passport, it's gonna take a while. I wanted to leave literally after I graduate, like two days later or three days later. And it happened, I left three days after I got my matric results. And that is amazing, you know, because my plan worked out. You're gonna get papers, like you need to have childcare hours, you need to have your medical certificate, you're gonna need to do your character reference. I had my teachers from high school do that for me and my violin teacher and my camp director. You also need to get your hours, childcare hours, and I always volunteered at a camp since I was 14 years old. So you know, those hours actually helped me in the future because now I had so many hours when I wanted to do this uh, au pair program, so that was great. Now, my medical certificate, I did that literally before I was about to submit all my papers because these things expire uh, within like a period of six months or whatever. You need to do like a police clearance i did my police clearance in my grade 12 yeah and it takes about six weeks you just go to your nearest police station you pay where well, i paid 96 rand i don't know how much it is now and um you basically gonna wait for six weeks and you get it it also expires after a certain time the thing that took the longest for me would have to be my license i got my learners when i was 16. learners is like a permit i was driving with my permit for a year and a half so now i'm practicing i'm driving i'm trying to get my experience driving up and my license was such a pain but i got it funny story the african ambassadors they have a like a sale and it was september and the sale was ending like the 30th of september and I got my license on the 30th of September. So I luckily I got the sale and I paid less than the normal registration fees or whatever, which was perfect because <laughs> saving money, of course. Yeah, I finished all my paperwork and all my stuff by the end of September. And my profile was up maybe like a week later. And it's during my final exams also. So it's like I have stress of final exams and then i have no finding a family kind of stress and one tip that i want to give you guys is do not rush do not pick the first family you find you know just be patient and 
you got this do your research too like what do you want in a family you need to know all your information going into this program and into this process in order to keep your sanity okay so october went by and i'm like okay no families so now i'm like okay when is the family coming up what do i do I contacted the counselor back in South Africa. I'm like, I'm not finding a family. What should I do? What should I do? And she's like, you gotta be patient. You gotta wait. Especially if like you're a young au pair. Most families like review your profile even more because you're young and it's like, do you have the experience, you know? November, my first family came up. I had like an interesting application video. I loved it. I had the best time making that video. The application video is also one of the things you need to do for your profile to go up. I remember my host mom at that time, she was like, hey, we love your video so much. You seem like an interesting person. And I read their profile and I was like, best family is uh, perfect because it was exactly what i was looking for in a family i was looking for a family that like doesn't just need an au pair basically like they need a, a big sister an older daughter if i can say that and everything worked out you know my advice to you guys to start this process do your research guys research is important be positive the matching process is really long it's stressful be honest be very transparent know your like your true intentions why do you want to do this program if you want to do this program just to get yourself to america then honey you should not be here in the first place okay because things are not gonna go your way and you're gonna be disappointed and it's gonna be sad and it sucks to be disappointed that's what you gotta do for the beginning steps yay my experience with this agency has been okay it's been great i haven't had any problems everybody has their own opinions about how the program is and that's okay this person's opinion could be different from yours and that is totally fine my experience is great i love it i'm thankful that i took this opportunity to discover myself and just be me and live my best absolute life if you think i'm lying honey <laughs> well whatever that's for you but in the beginning when i was looking for an agency i was super picky and they were they were ready to help me they're on you know they know Lebona, you need help we're right here you know we got you type of thing if you're looking for a similar agency i mean an agency that's not gonna abandon you then this is your agency you know it is your agency honey they have a um, Instagram. Go check out their Facebook, YouTube. I think they're all. They all on. They are all on. They are on all social media platforms. Go hashtag a prayer in America. See what other pairs have posted. I uh, hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, you can go on the a pair in America website, or you can ask me privately on my Instagram. It's travel through light travel underscore through underscore light small capital small letters small capital letters. in small letters i have a youtube channel Lebona m go check it out um yeah